Praise God. In anyone like to share a testimony? Uh, what I'd like to say here regarding your testimony and on most of these testimonies that we are beginning to understand, at least I am beginning to understand that these words that we use from scriptures are just not magic words to be used, but they are words that first convince us and becomes life in us. And when we pronounce these words, we are pronouncing an anointing on the other person and that's when it becomes more, most effective. That's when it becomes alive in them. Because in the past I experienced very often thinking that if we use these magic words, uh, let it do its work. And this leads me to share a little of my experience or testimony. Uh, when okay. years ago, when I experienced the love of Christ, the love of God, and what it is to live with scriptures and in scriptures, and except for my wife and myself, it was a quite a task to share it with my children, especially after we came over here to Australia and the children got into adolescence and uh, mixing with the kids here in a different country and the way of thinking that they started to develop, which we are not, I was not aware of because most of the time when they're in schools and in unis, we don't know what really happens with them. We only know them when they are at home. And then uh, whenever I ventured to share with them and say, did you know that it says in the scriptures like this or like that? And then I would come up against a wall, against an op opposition. But that, it also means that we should do it like it. We should do it like this and we should do it like that. It's not always in this way. And so I used to get kind of uh, disheartened and disappointed why isn't this word getting into them? Why aren't they uh, trying to understand what I'm trying to tell them? But I, one day we decided, Deidre and myself decided that it's not our business. Our business is to pray for the unsaved loved ones and that the spirit of God will enter into them in whatever manner. And just very recently, a few months ago, when this lockdown, we were in my daughter's house and they had a little lunch, all the little ones. I was watching them. That was the first time I ever sat in their company when the music was bla blasting on this big screen and the dance they were doing. And then I began to listen to the lyrics of these rap songs, which I didn't know what was attracting these young ones in these nightclubs or at play parties like this. It's just one monotonous beat that goes on and they're all in it. You know what I'm saying? They are all in it and, and they even, they even uh, mimic the words that go on. When I began to listen to these words, I said, oh my God, I wonder if these little kids know what they're doing or what they are saying. It was all to, towards the demonic inspirations and and subtlety of the demons that were that were enjoying it with these children. And I told my wife, I said, there's something we need to do. Let's pray for them, you know. And, and in, in as much as during this COVID time, there was no school and they were just going their own way. I said, what about getting, and Zoom was becoming popular. I said, what about us getting all the grandchildren We've got seven grandchildren, not to speak of my children, my sister's grandchildren and my brother's grandchildren. I said, uh, let's get them together and we will start a little Bible class because two, of, two or three of my grandchildren were showing, asking me questions. Papa, why did, the, why did those men put Jesus on the cross? See the blood that is coming and he, he even was, he was about three or four years in the church standing and staring at the images on the way of the cross. And the priest came up to him and asked him, Zachariah, what are you looking at? He says, how oh, sad, look at what they're doing to Jesus. So I was thinking to myself, these kids have got it, but who's bringing it out for them? 
And then we said, okay, we'll start this Zoom class. And, uh, with, and we asked the parents, please sit with them and direct them because we've got a small little Bible that is in their language. You help them to read and you get involved and draw them to this Zoom class. They were so happy, the little kids were so, so happy and they were enjoying it. Now, <laughs> praise be to God. Now I saw Psalm 37, 4 coming alive in my heart, in my life. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. <laughs> he uses these children to fulfill that dream, these grandchildren. And now we were having a three weeks, three days in the week. My children, my son and my daughter said, dad, why can't we have one day only for the parents? Because we want to know more if you're going to teach them. I said, praise your Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And now this is what's happening. One day in the week, we have it for the parents. And there are so many things that they are not aware of. Heaps and heaps and heaps of things. And they're saying, Dad, we never ever looked at it that way. I said, even I was like that. Even I did not. Oh, so that is why now we understand why you're so hooked on to Brother Johnson and all his talk. I said, yes, I have given you all those white books also. Open those white books and start to read. And now there's so much of delight in my in our lives to know. And I believe that God fulfills the desires of our hearts. All mm -hmm. he wants is only our desire and the rest he fulfills. Just wanted to share that with each one of you, my brothers and sisters. Thank brother. you and praise be to God. Yes, brother. Brother, brother Hector, your message of fulfilling the desires of the heart is incomplete. Mm. Oh, yes, uh, for sure. It's in progress. No, 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 no. You missed out something very important. Mm -hmm. You read verse number four, but you missed out verse number five, which will bring it to completion. <laughs> That's what we normally do. Uh, good on you. Let me see what it is. Okay. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall you dwell in the land. And verily thou shalt be fed. Then delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, if a person is stuck to verse number four, he can still go to grave with his desires not fulfilled. Mm. He can go with his dreams not fulfilled. Because, yeah. because when he delights in the Lord, his desires will change from worldly to godly. That's what happened to the grandchildren. That's happening to the children. But, but, the fifth verse is very, very important. And it says, commit your way unto the Lord. So mm. what is the use of having a desire in my heart for good things to happen in my family, but I myself am not committed to the way of the Lord. I'm not committed to the instructions. I'm not committed to the, the truth, by applying the truths. I might be a champion in praying, but the Bible does not say when you pray, you will make your way successful. Mm. The Bible says when you do what I told you to do, then you will make your way successful and you shall be prospered. So mm. doing what God said can come only through your commitment to the Lord. And trust also in him. The word trust also is commitment where you are saying whether my desires come to pass or not, my delighting in you and my delighting in those promises will not change. Amen. Yeah. My response to you, Lord, is amen and amen and amen every moment of my life. Amen. When Praise that God. That becomes your attitude. God promises you that He shall bring it to pass. Which one is better? That you work hard to bring it to pass, or you or he... commit yourself to God and He will bring it. He shall bring it to pass. Yes. So he what we are doing is we are trying to bring our loved ones to Christ. And he's saying, don't even try to do it because you will not succeed. You are following some other strategy. You commit yourself 
that this Bible class that I've started, no matter what happens, I'm not going to put a stop. Even if nobody comes, I will still commit myself and I will be there. And God will see your commitment that you are there. And it is that commitment that makes the difference.